Hello, hello, it is Anne. Thanks for tuning in to Art on the Creek. I've been busy in my home studio in Parker, Colorado. I have formed a partnership with Viviva Color Sheets and I wanna play with them with you just shortly here today so I can show you in real time how quick and easy these are to use. I do have some videos coming up in July, but this particular video today is just a real short bonus video and you will be able to see how fun these are to use, how portable they are, how vibrant the colors are, and I've got a coupon for you. I'll put all the information in the video description here. So here's what we have. We have the Vivia Color Sheets. This is their original pack of 16 and all of these come in little sheets of color with perfect, protective <laughs> sheets in between so that you can close them up wet. You can see I've been working with this. Let's start by making a slice of watermelon. This is a deep pink and I'm just going to go in and do the bottom curve of the watermelon. Coming up here to do that side wedge first and now watch this. I'm just rinsing my brush and just touching that paint so that we can pull that around and keep this portion here to be the lighter side of our watermelons so that as we're looking at it we are the light source if you want to think of it that way. Let's go in with some crimson here too and add some other color so we can have some play going on and we'll leave a little bit of white space. Here's something else I'd like to do. We'll put some crimson on the side and now I'm going to drop in some water. Whenever you do this it creates some really neat starburst effects and I think that kind of looks a lot like watermelon, the fruit part. When you open it up, the, the fruit looks so juicy and it does have kind of a little starburst pattern to it. Now for the rind, let's go ahead and go to our green. See how easy that is? You just go to the reds are here on this page and just like a file, here are the greens on this page. So let's go to the greens. Now I want to use the light green on the innermost side. So let's create our rind by leaving some white space and then coming down here with our lightest green, like so, just like a little rocking chair. And then we'll go into the sap green and let these touch. We want to make it just a little bit thicker than that light green, but we also want it to touch it so that these two can blend together and be nice friends. So there you go, we have that together. Now what I'm going to do is go back into this to the light green and create our little stripes that are on watermelon rinds. Let's just do little squares here so that it'll look like the skin has been striped and it'll really give it a fun, fun appearance. Okay, now for the fun part. I'm just going to take my brush it's wet it's been blotted off and I'm just going to create a water bridge in between these two so that we can connect the fruit with the rind and as you notice as soon as I touch the water that pink it's picking it up but it's not nearly as intense as the pink in the fruit itself so that will be really good in fact we let's try and lift some more of it out because what we can do is make it almost white. Look at that. Look at how great that lifts up. These pigments are so fun to use. And now what I'm going to do is just come in with a heat tool and get this dry. I see some great cauliflower blooms happening, but I want it to stop here. I don't want it to continue. So this is a good time to use our heat tool to make sure that that paint stops moving. There we go. Now I'm going to go in once again, I'm going to get into the red here and this time I'm going to use that crimson, this one here on top, and I'm just going to very lightly suggest a line right here. There we go. And now we're going to go into the slate black and create our watermelon seeds. I happen to drop something right there so I'll put a seed there. There you go guys, there's your watermelon. That whole video took four minutes, 30 seconds. Enjoy the Viviva color sheets. Enjoy the information I have for you in the description and we'll see you soon. Take care, bye now.